Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty. And in this topic, I'm going to talk about the AC current waveform and the power factor. We have discussed the DC waveform and the DC voltage waveform related, uh, uh, I can say the derivation we have discussed. Now we will talk about the AC current waveform. So, if we talk about the AC current waveform, so AC current waveform that is the flowing, once again that is the flowing through the wall and this wall is actually connected to the secondary of the transformer, secondary of transformer and the primary of transformer. This wall is actually connected to secondary of the transformer and then the continuation I am saying that the primary of the transformer primary of the transformer are containing the harmonics are containing the harmonics okay guys now this is the point one if we talk about the waveform of the current in the wall winding so i can consider one of the wall and uh, conducting with the current and having the voltage so let us we are considering the uh, any of the wall and the current is taken by that is uh, i can take any let us take the phase b Okay, we had the three phases A, B and C. So I, I am considering one of them that is the phase B and uh, out of them uh, I will consider one, uh, consider the current IB and along with that I will consider the uh, EB that is the voltage. Now I will talk about, uh, now I will talk about this current in the wall winding. It's determined by the current flowing in the wall connected to the winding. Okay, now so let us uh, let us say so let us say suppose the current in the phase b let us so we have taken any any of the phase and that phase is actually b we have taken here so is ib so that current is ib as we are operating the wall number 3 so we will consider that ib as a i3 okay and is conducting and minus i6 so when wall number 6 is conducting Okay, the opposite current is flowing as we have seen in that diagram. Okay, guys. So now we will proceed for the next point. So if we talk about the conduction of each wall, or you can say the thyristor, the conduction time for the each wall, then I will definitely say the each wall conduct for the 120 degree. That you have to remember here. That the each wall will conduct for the 120 degree. That will be very beneficial. Now, so the wall number six. If the if I talk about the wall number six, that is uh, that is turned on at 180 degree. Okay, after the completion of the 180 degree, it means after the operation when uh, one of the wall has already conducting, then after that operation it will conduct at the 180 degree. So now I will move for after the firing of wall three. That is the after the firing of wall three. So let us suppose the uh, firing of the wall three as 30 degree. Firing of the wall is 30 degree. So this is the wall number three. This is the wall number three. Wall number three. It is fired at the 30 degree. So obviously the wall number 6. So obviously wall number 6 will operate at how much time? At after the 180 degree. When the when let us suppose it is operated at 30 degree. So obviously wall number 6 will operate 30 plus 180 degree after the conduction of 3. Okay. So now you can see here. So if it is 30 degree, so 30 plus 180 degree. At this time, the wall number six will operate. That you have to remember. So, and but the thing is that wall number three will operate 30 to 30 plus 120 degree because the conduction time for any of the wall is 120 degree only. But the conduction of, uh, or you can say, the turning of wall is depending on the previous thyristor. So, 30 degree, so it will be 30 to 150 degree. The wall number, wall number. 3 will operate. So you are saying there is a gap. No, there is not gap at a time. The two thyristors are operating. This is a uh, this is a portion for the second one. This is a portion for the second one because we had because we are having the thyristor like this and we have named 1, 3 and 5 and here uh, 2, 2 was here I uh, diagonally then 4 and 6 like this. So if we are operating or if we are taking the phase B, so it will it will be connected to 3, then load, then it if it is coming to 2, 
then after this at a time these two thyristors are operating okay the next will operate uh, the next may be a combination of the six or one okay six or five the, there may be a combination so i am just saying at a time only the only the one thyristor only the thyristor number three is operating the next thyristor or next or you can say the combination of the thyristor will operate 30 plus 180 that is written here so that is given if we talk about the eb that is the eb is equal to root 2 ell that is the uh, that is a uh, line to line voltage sin omega t plus 30 plus 30 is the phase or you can say the firing time or when the wall number three has started okay guys now so if we talk about this this is the eb root 2 ell sin omega t plus 30 if we talk about the ib then ib may be i3 or minus i6 if we take the i3 it is going in the positive direction so i will take the id that is alpha 2 alpha plus 120 degree if i talk about uh, if i talk about the for the six wall number six then it will be minus i6 and that will be considered as a minus id as a constant one okay so it will operate obviously i have written here that after the conduction after the firing of the wall three that uh, wall number six will operate the alpha plus 180 degree so it will operate but obviously its conduction will also be from for 120 degree only each and every wall will operate for 120 degree only but when it will start it will depend on the previous one if uh, previous one when the previous is uh, wall number three if it has a uh, or you can say the turned on or you can say the fired at 30 degree so obviously it will operate or uh, is or turned on wall number 6 30 plus 180 but wall number 6 will also operate for time of 120 degree only you can see here that is written here that you have to remember okay so these are the some basic points so which are listed here now now I'll talk about the some of the points or, or you can say the graph which is listed here and this is the graph for the IB and uh, I, one second IB this is the graph for the IB and EB this is a graph for the IB and EB and this is going like this so let us suppose there is a alpha when the wall number three is operated at this point and the wall number six will operate at uh, this is a 180 degree so it will be 180 degree plus alpha it is written here so we will talk uh, about the uh, uh, different different points uh, in the next slide or upcoming lectures the overlapping may may also be the seen there and that is uh, that will be we will discuss uh, we will discuss in the further uh, lectures so that is kind of the diagram is kind of like this and uh, i hope you have understood this uh, this is a very easy step up type step up type of uh, uh, the waveform of uh, you can say the phase okay and it is containing the harmonics now i will talk about the next points now if i talk about the i1 current if i talk about the i1 current that i1 current is 1 by root 2 that i1 current is 1 by root 2 2 upon pi and it is operating minus pi by 3 to pi by 3 plus pi by 3 minus pi by 3 is actually a 6 minus 60 degree and it is a 60 degree because we are going to integrate so we are taking the uh, simplest uh, you can say the simplest waveform or the simplest uh, kind of the function okay so minus pi by 3 to plus pi by 3 that is uh, that is id okay or uh, id cos theta i can take the id cos theta d theta so if we integrate the cos theta integration is uh, plus sine theta and after putting the value we will get this one after the simplification so that you have to remember okay if i talk about the rms value of the current rms value of the current that current we have found uh, in the first point so that rms value of the current is actually i equal to root 2 by root 3 rms is equal to root mean square value so if whenever we talk about the rms values then we have to find according to <coughs> uh, according to the waveform and that is the basic part for the polytronics uh, devices uh, we have studied uh, in the previous classes now harmonics obtained if you talk about the what are the harmonics we are as we are discussed uh, discussing so what type of the harmonics are uh, because these are other than the harmonics are same waveform but will have the different type of frequency other than the fundamental 
so if we talk about the what type of harmonics it can it can have so it can have 6 and plus minus 1 so if you put uh, n equal to uh, n equal to 1 here then it will have the 5 comma 7 if if you put uh, 2 here then the 6 into 2, uh, 2 is the 12 plus minus so it will have uh, uh, it can have one okay so uh, 5 7 and uh, so 12 uh, it will have the 11 and 13 or you can say uh, uh, kind of if you are taking the three then these are the higher harmonics we cannot take because these are not uh, um, uh, you can say these are not harmonious to us but and you can say the end above and more okay so these are the basic uh, other than the fundamental frequencies what are the harmonics so this will have if it is a fifth harmonic so it will have the frequency five times it means if uh, normally if we are taking the one cycle in a one second so it will have the five cycles in one second it will have the seven cycles in one second it will have the 11 cycle and 13 cycles in one second uh, respectively so we are going to use the filters for that what type of filters we are going to use there that is written here we are having uh, this is the incomplete point i think filtered out these can be filtered out because these are not advantageous to us so these can be filtered out either by the tuned filter or you can say a tuned filter or high pass filter. So that tuned filter is actually for the first four harmonics that is a five harmonic number five harmonic number seven eleven and uh, thirteen and high pass filter. And more than uh, those harmonics will be filtered out by the high pass filter because the basic functioning of the high pass filter is to because if there is a cutoff frequency if there is a cutoff frequency above that frequency if there is harmonics then it will be filtered out by the high pass filter and that is the functioning of uh, it now we will talk about the next point so i hope you have understood that the filtration is uh, filtration can be done by can be done by either by a tuned a tuned filter or or you can say the and the filter high pass filter tuned filter will be used for the first four harmonics and the high pass filter will use to filter out the higher harmonics above the starting four harmonics now we, i will talk about the rms value of the hth harmonic so if we are uh, if we are talking about the rms value of the hth harmonic H -th harmonic it means if i am taking the 13th harmonic then i can take the i1 upon h that is the value of uh, rms value of the h -th harmonic as i1 is our root 6 upon pi into id so it it will be root 6 upon pi id upon h if uh, if it is uh, 13 then i will write the 13 upon okay now the power factor the power factor if we talk about the power factor pac then I can write, if we talk about the power factor, I can write root 3 ELL I1 cos 5, okay, and the, this 5 is angle between, and that you know, I, uh, I, I think that you know, and everyone know uh, who is belonging to the electrical engineering. So, uh, the 5 is the angle between the two phases ELL and the I1, and whenever we talk about the converter end, so uh, it will have the PAC and the PDC, okay and if i am if i am taking the if i am ignoring the losses then pac will be equal to the pdc and it should be equal to pac uh, pac should be equal to pdc the ultimately when i will find out then i will come to know that is the cos alpha is equal to cos phi that is the result for that that you have to remember for this one because not because there are the so many topics and you have we have to concentrate on the some of the important topics here so uh, after the solving of PAC equal to PDC, we are coming to the result the cos alpha is equal to cos of phi. So I hope up to this uh, you have understood uh, successfully. So Tata bye bye and thank you.